Hi, this is Franz Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator, and toon talker, and I'm here with Paul Harvey. And what do uh, you do? I am a caricaturist. What do you do for crust? I'm a, <laughs> I wear my underpants too many days. Uh, I am a caricaturist, cartoonist, illustrator, author, all that crap. Yada yada yada, yep, yep, and yep, yep, you yep, yep. love your sport. I do. I'm a footy. Uh, I'm a sport nut, a bit of a footy nut. So, Beautiful. Yeah. So, what are we looking at here? So we're going to talk about my dream job, which your I don't job. tell a client that because yep. I, he would, I, he would they not pay offer me. you half the money. I half the money. I love this. Uh, I do the footy cards to select every year. Yep. Uh, these are the chase cards. These the yep. ones we're going to look at today are the Starburst caricature or footy cards. Yep. Um, I've just finished. The 2017 set. Um, Show oh, one, just flash one up there. Okay, okay. Screen. So we've got so so that's Dan Rich, Chase the card Brizzy is, Lions champion. So chase card is a printing term meaning the metallic process of. Uh, well, no, Chase card is basically the card that you buy. So you might get, you might have to buy 12 packs to get this one card. So it's a chase, yes. as in actual catching. To catch it. Oh, yes. okay. I didn't 80, know. Um, it's a collector term. I think there's 72 of these cards yep. uh, that I do the caricatures for. So there's 72 in that set. Right. So you'll have to buy a lot of cards to 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 get my cards. Yep. Select have all these different um, categories like. Um, and the packs are sold in news agents. News agents and uh, Milk Bar and that sort of thing. Supermarkets. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So they everywhere. Right. Yeah. So this is good. Um, it's great quality. I've never seen a card. A, a chase card. I've never seen a metallic card as good as this. They're great. Steve this Randall's a lot at uh, Spike put printing. these together. He does a he does a wonderful job for uh, Beautiful. Everything the is guys so at Tony the Clothes that select. Clean. Yeah. And they they're a really good client. I like working with Steve, he's a good bloke and um, uh, this is I've just done my fifth year of uh, cards, so wow. I've done that's quite a few hundred players now. So these are the special ones. The, the others ones. are just the photos that you get anywhere. Yes, these they're, are these they're are the ones you've seen. The pictures, the photographs you've seen everywhere. The kids tend to call these the bubblehead cards because the uh, you know the big heads and the small body. Ah, oh, like like the character, the um, the term balloon head. Yes, from the early days of uh, printing. Indeed. So this is wow. Dan Rich. I'm a line supporter. This is Dan. Um, yep. Do they? Uh, so here's your original. They call Thor because he's looks Thor, like Thor because he's got long blonde hair. So basically, look, it's a, it's a, it's a fun job because I sit with the family on the telly uh, in front of the telly yep. and I sketch. I don't look up at the telly, but uh, I hear what's going on, and I sketch these guys. I have to do them fairly quickly yep. to to get the lot done in the time. So your knowledge of the game means you can pick a signature move. Yeah, that helps. Pose of, yeah. of Thor. Yeah. You know what sort of pose to draw him. And the, look, the beauty. One of the I'm lucky the time I'm doing these. Weg, the great Bill Green, yep. would have to probably work from one photograph that he was one sort of print out of a photo. Yes, uh, and, and work you're from a bit one spoiled angle. Now, oh, you can well, I've it. got television and I can Google. <laughs> so you know, I can get if I want to do Dan Rich, I can get. And you don't like that pose? You can pick a different one. Yeah, or I can mix them up. Mix, mix them match. up. Yeah, you know, I sometimes match bodies. Which you've done table. with the tongue for yeah. some reason. There's a. Like he has a, he wouldn't be kicking with that tongue, but that's a signature pose. A signature of Richie, yeah, he does lips. have his tongue out. So I try to, I'll try to get that in. I, yeah. Um, because people look at the, like the way that you've designed the face, right? There's there are particular gestures in the contours and things which indicate the face, so they recognise that. But they'll also recognise signature poses, and they'll recognise your attention to detail yeah and kids which you know, is beyond kids. everything anything that i could do or possibly think about doing well the kids have a good bs uh monitor too so they they know so you, if i've got the wrong boots on you, and those sorts of things so you're entertaining kids with these but are you entertaining yourself oh very much. very much very this is as you said your dream job this very is much lovely. well I, I push you know i push yeah. the caricatures and wow um <laughs> and i i have a bit of fun with them. this I, this one was interesting because Daniel Merritt, who played at the Lions, at the time the we did the cards, I'm finishing these around October um, to get them ready for next year. And that's when the AFL draft's on. So yeah. this particular year, which I think was three years ago, Dan Merritt was mooted to be leaving the Lions. So at the last moment, we didn't do him as a card. We did... Um, uh, we did another guy. Okay. Yeah. That, he was the young guy that won the... So uh, he dropped out. He was the rising star. So, right. yeah. So Dan dropped out. Now, I posted that 
on social media and uh, Dan came back and said, oh, I love it. I love it. And I, I never saw that. And I said, yeah. yes, because uh, you dropped out. it looked like you were going to leave. And then he didn't leave. Yeah. Um, he only retired last year. So um, it's a tricky time to be doing them. It's just, just before when, you go into it, just uh, we'll blazer. go into the next page. Yep, yep. But the technique here is you've retained the black line. So your original sketch, just very, very quickly. So that's original sketch so the, there. The two different techniques that you have, one is with the black line, right? And one is where you tone the back, the black line, so it's more sepia or red. Well, yeah, also what I did was, uh, so that that was from the set the year before, the, yep. um, the fire power cards. Yep. Um, and I kept the black line and coloured them fairly simply. Fairly flat. Uh, yeah, very yep, flat colours. Flat. Um, this one you went to town with photo. brush strokes. Yeah, so uh, so what we did was we There's a bag of walnuts. revamped the design for um, for 2016. Yeah, look at that. And Beautiful. I made the illustrations a lot more painterly. So we're yep. going to look at uh, last year's set, which are these ones here. Yep. Um, it's so fluid. It's, it's, um, so I it's so um, it's still fairly, you know, I, I work quickly. Um, yep. I kept the, the energy. Colouring, yeah, I tried to get a bit of energy. Energy in, in there. Yeah. So, so it's yep. the energy and the pose. It's yep. also the energy and yep. how fast you do the. the and I like them. I like to so don't overwork it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want portraits as such. I wanted no. to uh, caricature the whole of the guy playing and the yep. whole of his movement and the you know yep. the whole shebang. Yep. Um, I'm still happy. I, I love putting little. Um, jokes in that, little uh, gags, little gags, and keep myself amused. The tattoos are a bit of a pain because yep. uh, you know these blokes come back every season and they've got different new or additions to additions the tattoo. To the tats yeah. and, they get a you know, half sleeve teeth and, and a full sleeve, and and the Ned Kelly yeah. beards are yep. such a big thing now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so, um, so two is um, Irish, so he's got yeah. a little uh, leprechaun in yeah, little and there. You can zoom in there. You wouldn't see it in the card probably unless you've no, got a well, I've got a card here so we can show you. He has a little pipe. You. He's got a little pipe. Okay. Oh, yeah. So he's, uh, so we, it, we, yes, so you can see it in the card. You can. Well, you can see it when it's up that close. Yeah, go up closer. Yeah, okay. So. We'll put the camera to the test. Ooh. There he is. Almost oh, a little bit, bit back. There yeah, yeah, there he is, there he is. Beautiful. So yes, put a little leprechaun in there for uh, Zach. Yep. Now he's this now a left Carlton. He's um yeah he's oh well I suppose that's the starting process. This is so when you're sitting in front of the TV. Yeah, I'm just sketching, sketching up, up oh, ideas. Yeah, so I think that's um, Dyson Heppel from Messerton. So I'm just playing with shapes, the shapes and the noses yep. and all that sort of stuff. And how far to push it yeah. before that, the likeness before breaks. Before the likeness breaks, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So cool. Um, and you can see all of the gestures, the energy that's involved here. Like, you know, there's the signature pose, but you've you've used really pushed, exaggerated the gestures, exaggerated the poses. Yeah, yeah. To pack it full of energy. Yeah, yes. And and you know, caricatures more than just putting a big nose on someone. It's it's uh, the way they move, the way they. Yeah. They, um, There's a story feel, in the line that you work with. A bit of a statement about yeah, the player, all yeah. those sorts of things. That, and a lot of statement time. about you. Uh, well, There's yeah, a decision, I well, yeah. Decisions about, you know, how, how to exaggerate shapes that you perceive. They may not even be there, but you get an impression and you want to run with it and it, it goes and it doesn't break. I try to create a bit of a flow through the drawing too. Yep. And you get these young guys, so that's Pat Flow Chris. is this this sort of sinewy movement yeah, throughout of the, the illustration, yeah, of the form. Yeah. So um, Pat Cripps, a very young uh, player, yep. is, you know, hasn't grown into his face as much. Where, yep. You know, someone like Pendles with that long triangular, you know, that beautiful triangular face. Yep. Um, but so, some of the young guys are, you know, so you're looking for volumes, but you're also looking particularly for little sharp angles and things and, yeah. you know, directions of eyes up and down and the shapes of ears, if they're anything particular about the ears, like if they're a little bit elfin or if they mm. look, look like they've been bashed up a bit, mm. you know, these are things that you, you put in. And they're important. Because, yeah. Yeah, they're, in, they're important. So. Well, um, not just for the the likeness; it's also for variety. So you keep every caricature is is, is different, is fresh, mm. and also that's good for you too because it's more of more of a challenge. Yeah, if it's more of a challenge, it keeps keeps you on on your toes and you, 
I look, and you're I awake the, when you're doing it. I might look at someone like it, um, Adams and Yeah, Adams. look at that beautiful brow. Yeah, now it, in, in one particular photo we might have a brow like that and, and uh, it catches my imagination, so I want to get that out. And, and Joe Watson So gives, even if it's not in the, in the reference, you put it in there because that's the impression It might be get. in every photo that I look yeah. at, but it might be in one. But that's what you got from... That's the yeah. thing that's stuck in yeah. your head. And he's got a very, it tells you that a very it's strong, um, you know, he's got a wide nose and a strong yeah. brow. He's got a yeah. strong head. That's a great boxer's face, you know, that yeah. flat nose and the, you know, and that big brow. So, yeah. um, and that's the feeling I want to get and across a, with him. And a signature pose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's a pretty basic sort of pose. That's Job's kicking, but, you know, he's a good looking fellow, but you can have fun. You know, he does have a bit of a hook nose and um, mm. terrific fellow, this, this bloke. Um, yeah, so you've got innies and outies in terms of noses. So you look for things that you can play with, sort to do with the play. Sandilands is a, such a huge man that, um, you know, and anybody really standing next to Sandilands is... Is that that move nine. where you punt the ball? Or? That's a handball, yeah. Handball, yeah. So you use that part of your hand to... Yeah, you use your fist and you yep. punch the ball. So he's basically handballing, but what I wanted to, to get that feeling of size with Sandy, so I... Yep. Small I head, drew, big body. Yeah, I drew him from, yeah. So, the, the so anyone variety. standing next to this guy is looking up his yeah, nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much. So you love variety. Keep keep, um, keep yourself entertained when you do the... Oh, look at this. He's a great celebrator. Um, and he wears the Aboriginal mouth guard. Yeah. So those sorts of things are important. I, I did yeah. the, I originally did him with the white Frio jumper. These are just printouts from my digital um, illustration. Yeah. So I don't know how this is going on camera, but... So I did him in the white jumper. Yep. Um, they said, oh look, can we put him back in the, in in the, the purple? In the blue, yep. yeah. It's the purple. purple. Yep, it's yep. the purple hunt. Selwood is a knockabout, you know, um, knock him down. I don't think I've got one of his cards here, but he's a bit yep. of a knock him down character. So we put yep. the, you know, we put the bandages on his head. Um, Dangerfield was interesting because I I did the Dangerfield who was this year's, last year's Brownlow Millers. Yep. This year's Brownlow Millers. I did him uh, in the Adelaide outfit then he moved and I had another guy to do for um, the cats and I said yep. look let's do Dangerfield I can use the same pose I'll change the jumper that's yep. the beauty of doing it digitally. Can I ask you a, a little quick aside mm -hmm. when you do these characters do you make notes green eyes blue eyes brown eyes no, hazel no, eyes no, I just go or do you just guess? Uh, uh, try not to guess yeah try not to guess I mean, the beauty of Google is you can find those sorts of things yeah. out, can't you? They, yeah. they tell you everything. They, they tell you when he had his last movement. So yeah, blow it up. Everything I Zoom want to know in. about him. That looks uh, like I can find out. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, I think I've got the Danger Field card here. There he is. There he is. Okay, so that's the like chase it. version of that. That's how the card finished out. Yeah. yeah. Um, awesome. Yeah. So. Look, the other the other thing I tried to do is I, I do a lot of these footballs. Sorry, you can turn yeah. it if you want. No, no. I do a lot of footballs, so I try to never draw the same image twice. I try to. Um, so even though it's the same guy, different. Well, there's so caricature. many. There's so many photos. Yeah. So you don't settle in on a uh, yeah. stamp. Like over the, over the years of the footy cards, now I've drawn some of the players, um, you know, two or three times and. I think it's you, you really to, pay attention, don't you, yeah. to the how long their hair is, or if they've got a new yeah. a sleeve or something, new sleeve tattoo, yeah. or yeah, that's whatever. All, that's important. Like Dane Swan, or persistent bandages yeah. on their legs or whatever. You Dane just Swan would that change in. his tats. You know, every time I'd go to draw him, he'd have some more. The so, swine, or he'd you know grow a beard or shave the beard off. Yeah. I had a, it this year. I had a particular uh, joy with. Um, through quickly. Oh, one guy who has one, he's trying to, he must be thinking of you. Oh, there's, uh, um, I played Shaved with the, his beard, I played it again, <laughs> shaved it again. I played with the beards a lot, so yeah. this is, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so we used the, we used the beard. I just, look, that was an idea that I thought would, yeah. would, yeah. Yeah. would work. Maxie Gorn, such a fantastic beard, he's a huge big ruckman from Melbourne. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then because there are some fantastic, uh, Hips quick be quick question the on the side. Yep. What's the? Do you get what feedback do you get? You get it from the players, or do you get it from kids? Or? Oh, look, I don't tend to. Um, by coincidence, I went to the um, Maxi Cut. I went to the yep. uh, the AFLPA um, MVP awards and met Max. And yep. I met a few of the guys, and we talked about the caricatures. So yeah. Occasionally, I met Chris Judd recently, and we discussed. Uh, caricatures I've done of him over the years, but yep. um, um, 
uh, you know. So I you're mean, like, a, a, you're an like an illustrator a... that works from a home studio, yeah. and I get feedback from the kids uh, yeah. when I when I teach and yeah. talk to kids um, when I go around and do the schools. Uh, I get wonderful feedback. Yep. You know, it's a look, we have a wonderful job, friends. We get, we yeah. get terrific um, affirmation of the type of work we do and we yeah. do when kids do do you Especially I, when you um, yeah. draw in you know, in a live situation, actually see your drawing, then it's a it's a very exciting it's this is an exciting job. It's this a great is, job. Yeah. And my kid I've got two boys and a girl, they're all mad footy um, Players, and my they daughter draw just too? yeah, they all can draw a bit. My yep. daughter just did her knee playing footy, uh, yep. or about two years ago. But okay. um, they're all into the footy, so they will tell me. They're, they're, my wife and my kids are wonderful. I'll I'll come in and I'll show them the great foils. Yeah, muses. I'll come in Look and at I'll the say, work what do you that's reckon? Gone into the painting. And Sam, Sam, my it's eldest, amazing. is a nut. He he knows every player. He knows everything about them. So I'll say, what do you think? And he'll say, yeah, you need this, you need that. that. Yeah, well, we say, no, nah. but he would be honest with me, and he'll say, no, nah, I don't reckon you, I'm not sure, and then I'll get offended and get upset and I'll uh, <laughs> swear at him and storm off, but, I, but, it, but then I'll come back and I'll agree and I'll do it again. Yeah. Hopefully, that, that doesn't seem to happen that much, but um, yeah. But he's great, because he knows them all. Yep. Even when Sam was like uh, just it six happens months just old, enough for it to be a thing, so it's a thing. I'd happens. say to him, I'd be doing the footy kids books, and I'd say, "What number's this guy?" And he, and he was like, uh, "You know, six And he'd say, "No, oh, he's fifteen. Dude. What number's this guy? Yeah, he's twelve. So he knew more. Wow. Yeah. So he was great to have around. Tommy's Tommy's good too. So kids do do, do know maths <laughs> when they when it's a subject that they're interested in. Yeah. Wow. So every every job's different. You've broken the head off the body. Yeah, 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 probably drew. Because you put a lot of work in the head, so big. Like the body, and, and then the probably tiny. enjoyed the, um, uh, did a better head. Yeah. So, yeah. so I don't like to settle if, you know, if there's a better way to draw somebody. Yeah. Sometimes you have to settle uh, with time constructs, but. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a powerful piece, that one. Yeah, it's a fun job, I must say. I love doing cards. So, Trent Cochin, then the new Brownlow medalist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to point him out. Yeah, I know. Other... Yeah. Oh, it's good doing this for someone who doesn't know footy. It's uh, no. I'm just looking. I'm a, I'm marvelling at the uh, technique and the um, the sheer um, adventurous um, this fellow way that you capture these likenesses. This uh, Cam McCarthy was an interesting because he he was at um, GWS. Yep. And then yep. decided he wanted to go home yep. for a variety of reasons. Yep. Um, and he's just a wonderful, great head to Beautiful draw. face. He's I, English, yeah? Part of the... Oh, no, I don't know. No, no, he's from WA. But WA. I don't know what his background is. He might have a bit of English. Uh, he's, but he's now um, going to be playing with um, Freo, I believe. Wow. But um, So the card came out, but he never played a game uh, with GWS after that card came out. Mm. It, um, it's a little terrific, it's a, like, terrific play. Could, uh, instantly a rare card. Yes, indeed. Yes. So, for collectors, how, do you get feedback? Have you ever got feedback from card collectors because they're a bit nuts? On that? Oh, I do. Yeah, they are a bit nuts. Um, look, it's been. I, I do know a few of them, and oh, I think they've all they've always been. These these are complimentary. Yeah. I keep telling my. Um, you students, can't say something nice. Don't say anything. <laughs> I keep telling my students to look for the look for the line of action in, yep. in animation, which is the gesture. And there's a gesture in everything that lives. You know, it could be your hand, it could be your face, but usually in the body, there's, you know, these lines of action that tell you what's uh, what's important in the pose. This is uh, they're they're really full of energy, full of energy, full yeah, of life. That's what I was sort of shooting yeah. for. Just to get um, and this humor, food. this fantastic humor, and you know, sheer joy of uh, of these uh, faces. Nothing's done maliciously. There's no, there's no, you know, pointing at ethnicity or anything like that. They're all treated equally and um, charmingly um, portrayed with uh, with all their human foibles. <laughs> there's no dis discrimination. I've been mean no to everybody across the board. You have Every, to be me. Everybody gets. Uh, well, that's the thing. Everybody gets the same treatment. Yeah, yeah. the same rats. Yeah, but I don't call it. I, I, it's not. 
it's not mean as such. It's, no, it's not uh, mean. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, Luke Parker. What's that you know, famous that saying? Did you say this doesn't... famous saying? If you if you don't like the character, well, don't have the features. Don't don't look like that. Oh, I, I, sometimes when I'm doing fast caricatures, and you know, they might say, uh, "You drew my, my nose, nose so big." My nose is big. Oh, don't make my nose big. And I'd say, "Look, I'm a caricature, not a magician." But... <laughs> Yes. Or uh, and if they didn't like the character, just say, "Look, don't blame me. Blame God." It's a smart ass thing to say. It always gets a laugh. Yeah, I've, I've heard it so many times. I'm sick of it. Yeah. Look at the action in there, the twisting, which you've accentuated with the uh, the lines and the costume. I like to mix up, you know, do some guys from the front, Complete, show the numbers yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that's the variety. So every 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 card, every design, every caricature is different. Has a different. Uh, Rhythm, a different, uh, uh, you know, different action, different story, yeah. different colours. You know, even in the colours themselves, there's variety. You know. So how's our time? Are we really boring good. people to snore? No, we're fine. All good. All good. Yeah. So you get these uh, wonderful blonde guys with you know very ruddy complexions yeah. and um, very square heads of uh, curve tip. It was a bit of it was a steep learning curve doing these caricatures because. Right. Um, I, to, to do this coloured process, it wasn't it wasn't something I'd done a lot of. Um, I usually work. You do in, the lines in black. You know? in, well, I, I work in Illustrator and yeah. uh, or I'd co colour. So I had to sort of reinvent um, my process a little bit. But yeah. um, and and you know the early the earlier ones I did took a lot of time, and yeah. then I um, I sort of narrowed that down. But uh, like Nick Nat, knew he's a, so you get you get a face like Nick Nat, and he's got. Um, it was some of these guys are a great lesson in caricature because yeah. there's so much going on with Nick. He, he's a pretty good looking bloke, but he's yeah. got he's got this amazing head of hair. Head of hair yeah. He's got um, a huge honking nose. Yeah, um, very strong features. Uh, very dark. Yeah, um, pointy chin. Pointy chin. Uh, big lips. Big mouth. Big uh, smile. Yeah, all yeah. those sorts of things. Um, you know, and the, and the hands and yeah. all those sorts of things. Yeah. And sorry. Um, yeah. So. Uh, but you can't caricature everything. If you're trying to caricature every little part of Nick Nat, because I don't want to, you be there I wanna, forever. I don't want to push the exaggeration too far, because I don't want to lose likeness, and I don't want to. Um, I want young kids to get it yep. and get who it is. Yep. So there's a there's a, a sort of a nice balance, yep. and uh, guys like him are a, an interesting um, because you, you don't want to make them ugly. You, yep. you still want to have a bit of fun and life and youth about them. So. Yep. Um, you can't caricature everything about him. I remember doing one of Kevin Bartlett, and I don't know if you know Kevin Bartlett, but he's an older man now. He yep. sort of looks like a, a dried up apricot. So yep. you, you don't want to do all the great things about Kevin Bartlett because you just get it going to this little bit of caricaturing overload. Yeah, yeah. You want to choose maybe four or five things to play with. Yeah. Yeah. So you make you make decisions on the fly there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. the job, at the end of the day, you've got to finish it. It has. You can't sit on your board for forever. That's the great uh, Marcus Bontempelli. He's yep. a Marsden nice boy. We're all yep. to school, and yep. um, that's his church card there. The uh, yeah. reigning premier player. Yeah. Will be captain one day. I think this bloke is. Uh, he's something else. He's a tactician, is he? Sort of a just a smart a general player, in the field. A big tall midfielder. And, Knows what um, he's doing. And yeah, he's uh, he's terrific. Really some of these young guys, they're just so uh, switched on. Yeah. See, there's so much knowledge in there too, even the football shoes, which uh, I, I don't know anything about because they don't play football. But um, I wouldn't know these from golf shoes. I'd know them from bowling shoes because I know you don't wear studs on them. It's shiny wood, but uh, there's yeah, some great stuff. True. And even, um, you don't do brands, do you? You don't do ASICs. Uh, but they're oh, kind of sort of your version of an ASIC. Kind of sort of, yeah. Kind of sort of. If that's what they wear, I sort of put it in. It's, um, yeah. Mitch but no Wallace logos on very much sort of. looks like um, Napoleon <laughs> Dynamite. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's almost a, a Ren Hoek jaw, a lower mouth. Beautiful. Ren Hoek is um, like yeah. Ren and Stimpy show. Yeah, yeah. These are fantastic. The wig chin. Yep. Uh, and there's a pencil. That's just some sketches, yeah. Just, uh, that was Tommy Bell who left Carlton and went to the Lions. Yep. So that was a few years ago. So that was just playing with just playing with the, the feel of the guys. Yep. And uh, 
you know, sometimes I'll be just sitting there and I'll sketch up a Michael Hurley head. Um, yeah. You know, just, and then, you know, that's sort of... Different variation. Yeah, sort of gets this ish. Ish, um, yeah. I think I can do something with that. Uh, so these are your um, notes? Yeah, these are notes. Oh, these are bodies for... I do the retiring guys from the Lions every year. Um, yeah. The Brizzy Lions. So these are from a few years ago, but that's Ash McGrath. Ash, the little bull yeah. guy that... Um, uh, retired with the line, so yeah, this is just stuff I've, I've basically the, this folder is a result of having lots of pieces of paper kicking <coughs> around and just trying to give them a bit of a it's home. good to see the pencils because the amount of it, you know, the pencils are very quick by their very nature and you have to work fast, but um, it's good that you keep that energy going into the inks and the uh, into the colors, yeah, they don't nothing gets tight. Well, most artists will tell you that the you know some of your best drawings in these rough yeah, the first pencils, ones that yeah. you do yeah, yeah. that's because so you, you don't care it's like <laughs> I'm just yeah. mucking around yeah I'm just playing so that's, that's the cards great. that's good fantastic fun. well done yeah. well, All it's right. a good job I love this job I, lo I love doing these cards so, but as I say don't tell yep. select no did one. you want to I'll give them a plug yeah give these a plug yeah. select so 2016 a, last year so that's a plug so I get them I put them in the album. Yeah, and, I don't um, want to put these over. I like them away. I think the sets are worth. I don't think they're worth that much, but they're worth some good, decent money. So yeah. They, they look after me. and They give me some sets. I did these sets in blue as well. Uh, these cards in a blue. Metallic. Blue metallic. Yeah. But, How did that go with the blue uniform? Yeah. They still worked alright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very clever designers make that all work. So. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, good fun. That's awesome. All right, so this is obviously the full set. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. So where can kids get these now, or people buy these? Oh, I think they buy collectors that buy them online now, eBay and that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So the, you just get a set of chase cards. You don't need to bother. Oh, I think you get buy. You don't need to bother with the pictures. Somebody would be said, yeah, I don't. Know. <laughs> no, but only only for reference. Mm. Borrow with the pictures. Nah, not interested. In the yeah. Um, well, that's brilliant. Cool. All right, Paul, thank you so much. No worries. Thanks for having me. This is um, Paul Harvey and Franz Cantrell, and we'll catch you next time around. Okay. Thank you.